What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of We Don't Have a Name for This Show Yet! And uh, today, we are talking about the Air Force Ones. Then after that, cue music. For those of you who don't know, it was actually made in 1982. Uh, but the current version that you see now, uh, the swoosh was redesigned and reintroduced to the public in 1986 which was the year I was born that's why this shoe is so power because I also power <laughs> anyways uh, we are not here to talk about this Air Force One because uh, not special enough and uh, Nike also came out with the newer version they came out with a more less Fluffy version is a bit more sleeker, uh, but we're also not here to talk about this one. Uh, what we're here to talk about is the special feel Air Force One, and uh, of course, there's a full range of collection uh, courtesy of Nike here. But we are here to talk about the really, really big one down here. Like, it's even bigger than my, like half my body. Is. Crazy. Look at this box. Spike. Like, I don't know how many face you can fit. Like, I think maybe about two and a half of my face. And my face is already pretty big. So it's huge. It's really, really big. And uh, once you open it up, we've got the rattan color. And uh, I think this is the third version of the special feel Air Force One. Uh, this is just released this year I think about a week ago it just got to Malaysia and uh, just in just in preparation for winter but there's no winter in Malaysia there's also a lot of rain so I'm not so sure whether this is uh, waterproof or not just straight up here is what do you call this material uh? it's like some sort of like a military grade canvas and the front the toe box is made out of leather um, and of course all zips, all high grade zips come from YKK. The cool thing about this shoe is you have some detailing at the tongue. Yes, uh, there, there are a lot of people who are talking about this shoe and it's they say it's very impractical, it's a bit crazy. And also, on the other hand, the same excuse of impracticality and uh, hard to wear is also the one of the reasons why people love it so much. The first version came with a uh, some sort of buckle and a paracord strap and uh, that was released end of last year i think oh, can't remember i think around august october around there and uh, there was an updated version sometime uh, march this year and then this is the third version they threw away the strap uh, this this strap used to be here and there was an extra paracord down there and they threw that away and replaced everything with this with this, with this, uh, I don't know what you call this. What do you call this? Rope. Rope. Wow. Captain Obvious, thank you so much. We have a black version here, black with gum. Comes with this rope. Uh, this looks like a Rastafarian's hair, like that. You know, like. If you didn't go to Scouts uh, when you were in school, high school, you didn't take Scouts, you wouldn't know how to really tie a knot properly or a nice knot. So that's one disadvantage. But on the other hand, if you really find this damn annoying, you can just throw away all the rope and just wear it without the rope. Uh, they also come up with a mid version and I think the mid version is way more practical. You don't really have to take off the laces or the buckle. All you have to do is just uh, pull this zip down, stuff your leg in and pull the zip up. The guy who designed this really thought a long time about the process. And then I think the guy who designed this, he didn't really care about process and I think it was more of an aesthetic purpose. Practical wise, in case you are in the jungle and you're stuck and you have no other equipment to use, you can actually take this rope out and you know, strangle people with You can just, you know, just take this whole thing out and just Kill, kill an animal because because the the soul is pretty hardy 
Alright, so that's all the time we have for today and uh, thanks for watching this video and if you like what you see, do share it, click subscribe, click like, comment. Uh, if you don't like this video, let us know why and uh, see you in the next video. Bye!